Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and today I'm going to show you how to edit a template in GoDaddy Studio. Now in so doing, you're also going to discover how we get started, where everything is, how it all works, and ultimately how you can use GoDaddy Studio to create some beautiful visual content for your brand. So let's dive right in and get started. All right, so today we're gonna to be working in the web version of GoDaddy Studio, which means we'll begin in our websites and marketing dashboard. And because I know I would like to create a social media post and then publish it, I'm going to navigate to the Create Social Post button, click on that, and that will take me into GoDaddy Studio, where I am presented with a bunch of different templates as suggestions to get me started. Now there are thousands and thousands of templates in GoDaddy Studio, so your best bet is to probably search for exactly what you're looking for at the top right uh, corner here. And that might be uh, according to the platform that you're creating for, or the design style that you'd like to work in, or your specific industry. But in this case, I have a specific intention in mind, which is to create a post for a workshop. So I'm gonna use workshop as my search term, and we'll see a whole bunch of options come up. And these are all designed with uh, promoting a workshop in mind. So um, you can just navigate according to what appeals to you. This one, for example, suits my needs. I, I really like the, the general layout and style of this one. But of course, now I would like to customize it for my particular brand and my particular purpose. And the first thing I would like to do, the first thing I'd like to edit is the image. So clicking on that, um, I know it's selected because of this border that gets highlighted around it and some options pop up at the top here. And this gives me the ability to either lock this layer if I want to um, make it unable to edit. I can shift it up and down the layer order so that it appears either on top of or below other elements on the canvas. I can delete it. Um, and if that is a mistake, as it is in this case, I can of course go back using these undo, redo buttons right at the top. Um, I can duplicate the image very easily by clicking duplicate and now I've got a second version that I can add to my canvas over here. Let me just delete that for now. And then I can of course replace this image by clicking on these two arrows where it says replace and that will call up my image library on the left hand side. here. Now if I'm looking for a new image to put in there I can either navigate to my photos which is going to take me into my photo library that's part of my websites and marketing dashboard. So all my saved imagery, as well as anything new that I might like to, to add from my computer. But today I'm going to go for the second option, which is using Unsplash. Now there are hundreds of thousands of really high quality royalty free images for you to use. You just have to search for what you're looking for. So in this case, I'm gonna switch it from a baking workshop to a pizza making workshop. So I, I will just search for pizza and as expected, dozens if not hundreds of really high quality images are presented to me. Um, I saw one right at the beginning that looked pretty cool so I'm just going to click on that and in a flash it just replaces it on the canvas and I can hit done. Once it's on the canvas I can of course move it around and resize it until it's in the perfect position. Okay, so we've got a new image and now the second thing I would like to change is the text of course because it's not um, the art of baking workshop anymore. It is now going to be an authentic Italian pizza workshop. So let me just enlarge that text box slightly so the longer word can now fit in there. And like the image, you can uh, just move this, move the text elements around on the page until they're exactly where you want them to be. That yellow line lets me know that I am in the center of my composition. Okay, so this is looking good so far. I just want to edit this text too. So once I've selected it, you'll notice on the right hand side, I have some editing options now that um, appear to me. So I'm going to click on text, which enables me to now change things like the font. So these are all my pre-existing downloaded fonts in my personal library. But if you're looking for more, you can navigate to browse fonts at the bottom there. And that will take you to the uh, GoDaddy font library, of which there are 500 plus different fonts for you to choose from grouped into collections. For today, I'm happy to use one of my existing favorites. I think I'm gonna go with uh, Vivi. And yep, that changes it, but of course it's a little bit small now. So I will just modify the size here. You can either enter a 
a specific number that looks pretty good or you can just nudge it up and down with your up and down arrow if you want to just make incremental changes okay so that looks pretty good i'm happy with this so far i would like to just change the, the color of this box at the bottom here so let me just click on that and what do you know nothing happens so that says to me all right this layer is now locked um, when you open a template you may find that some of the layers are locked to facilitate easy editing but it's something we can easily undo if you just navigate to the top right hand side here you'll see this little sandwich icon clicking on that will reveal all my layers now layers are almost like the skeleton of your design all the different elements laid out separately and as you can see some are above each other some are below each other and that will affect how they um, how they sit on your canvas so right at the bottom here we see we have this um, dark blue box but it has a padlock in the right hand corner suggesting that it is locked simply clicking on that will unlock it and now i can edit it so i'm going to change the color on the right hand side here by simply clicking color and i can now click here and select any any color that my imagination can muster by using the color wheel if you have a specific color in mind and you know the hex code you can enter it there and another really cool thing you can do is pick a color from the image in your design so clicking on this little drop icon here gives you the eyedropper tool and now I can navigate my cursor all the way to the image and I'm going to go for a particular green that we see in these um, in these herbs at the bottom here. So I'm just going to click find the right tone there. And yeah, I'm happy with that. OK, let's just get my design centered again. Right, so now I've picked that color and I just want to now round the corners on this box. So I'll just hit corners over here and simply slide that across and you'll notice now that this box instead of having right angle corners now has these rounded corners so this is looking pretty good to me i just want to add an element now because bear in mind you don't have to use only the elements that are provided in the template you can of course add as many more as you would like so i'm going to navigate to the left hand side menu here and click on graphic to add a graphic and I'm thinking something to really give my workshop a sense of being authentically Italian. So let's see what happens if I search for Italy in my graphics. Um, I have a few options here. Quite like this option of this little uh, Italian stamp that I can add. It seems to add a sense of authenticity to my workshop. So I'm just going to change the size and pop it in the corner there. And then noticing these maps, that actually gives me a, a pretty cool idea. So I'm gonna click on that and it now adds it to my canvas. I'm just going to resize it appropriately, but you will of course notice now that it is covering everything else. So all the other elements are sitting behind it. And that makes sense if you look at the layer stack on the right hand side, you'll see that that layer is now sitting right at the top of everything. But if I just grab it and hold it and drag it down, 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 all the way to the bottom of my layer stack as soon as i let go look what happens on the canvas and now that image is sitting underneath everything which is exactly where i want it to be the only problem now is that that graphic is quite um, it's quite vivid and it's competing with my text making it quite hard to read so i just want to reduce the opacity of that graphic i'll click on opacity drag it all the way down to something like uh, let's say 20 percent 22 percent and now you can see it's just a lot more subtle in the background and it creates a, a really cool effect and i think it complements my final design really nicely so that only took a few minutes i started with an existing template and um, i ended up with something unique to my needs and once you're done you can uh, now either export this to your to your computer by selecting either a jpeg or a png and then hitting export that's typically going to save it to your downloads folder. But as I mentioned in the beginning, my goal here is to now publish this, in which case I can simply click continue at the top right hand corner. And that should take me to my social media composer, which is going to enable me to take this design and right away publish it to my preferred social media platforms. So it's just going to process that image. 
and then I arrive in my social media composer and I can just say something simple the workshop starts tomorrow and preview that post so now we can see exactly what that post is going to look like on my Facebook feed my Instagram feed and my Twitter feed I could of course also add Google to this if I would like and I now have the option of publishing it immediately by simply hitting publish or I can schedule that for later select the date and time that work for me and once I've done that hit schedule all right so I'm going to close that now because um, I'm not actually running a pizza making workshop so let's leave without posting we now return to the, the websites and marketing dashboard but um, that image has now already been saved without me doing anything if I click on my photos I will notice that in my photo library that image uh, should have been saved already yep there it is with my uploads so now I have a version of this which I can use for my website in a newsletter I can print it I can add it to social media whatever I decide if I want to continue working on that um, design a little bit later on I can just head back to my dashboard and this time I'm going to show you an alternative way to to gain access to uh, GoDaddy Studio last time we went through create social post but you can of course also go in via the marketing drop down menu and click on content creator now when you do that it's going to look a little bit different in terms of how you arrive in the in the design editor and now you'll see that there's a blank canvas in front of me and on the right hand side are some format options so if I decide I now want to create my own unique design I don't need a template I'm just going to build it up from scratch I would simply select the right format that I'm looking for whether that's for Facebook Instagram Pinterest Twitter YouTube etc or I can of course do what I did the last time and begin by searching for a template and using a template as a starting point for my design I also want to draw your attention to the top left hand corner here because if you access GoDaddy Studio via the content creator you'll also be able to access my projects so clicking on my projects we see that um, the design I've just been working on has been automatically saved I don't have to save at any point and I simply click on that and it will reopen my design and I can commence or recommence the editing process so your designs are going to remain editable throughout their lifetime so you can always modify them make slight adjustments as you go so we see once it's called in it's just as easy to edit as it was in the beginning another really cool thing you can do just by the way if you head into my projects I have the ability to now duplicate this project so these top uh, these three dots in the top left click on that and then hit duplicate so let's say um, I've done my pizza word workshop and then next week we're running a pasta making workshop I don't want to start all the way from the beginning again and, and start a design from scratch I just want to modify the one I have so I could do something very simple like replacing this image of pizza uh, searching for pasta and just popping in a new image just setting that up where I want it to be yeah that looks good and then instead of an authentic authentic Italian pizza workshop it's now on an authentic Italian pasta workshop and voila mamma mia there it is just in a few seconds I've modified that design into something completely new finally from your design editor you also have the option of starting a new project so clicking on that will take you back to the blank canvas view where again you can start from scratch or use a template and you can of course return to your dashboard which takes us in a nice little loop all the way back to where we began inside the websites and marketing dashboard and that's pretty much all there is to it so as I said at the beginning starting with templates is definitely the easiest way to start designing in GoDaddy Studio but try it out for yourself jump in play around and see how much fun design can be when it's this simple <laughs>